Divine favor is connected to our assignment. Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 18. And I told them of the hand of my God which had been good upon me, and also the king's words that he had spoken to me. So they said, Let us arise up and build. Then they set their hands to this good work. We must understand that the favor of God comes upon our lives very often aligned to the assignment that God has for us. When you and I begin to move in the direction that God wants us to move, when you and I are doing the things that God wants us to do, pursuing the assignments that God wants us to fulfill, we often find the favor of God working in our lives. Nehemiah is an example here. And of course, there are several other examples that we find in Scripture. Nehemiah, as he begins to seek God uh, about rebuilding the walls of the city of Jerusalem, because he's so moved by it. Now, uh, the stir, his heart has been stirred up to do something about the walls in Jerusalem. Uh, he doesn't necessarily have an angelic vision or a dream or a voice from heaven. But it's that simple stirring in his heart that awakens him to his assignment, the assignment that God has for his life. And as Nehemiah begins to take steps in that direction, he sees the unusual favor of God. He calls it the good hand of God upon me or the hand of God which had been good upon me. This is him recognizing God's favor on his life. And what is that? What happened? The king grants him his request for leave of absence. The king says, sure, you could go uh, and do this work. But in addition to that, when the king finds out what Nehemiah is going to be doing during his uh, leave, during his time of absence, the king grants him all that he needs, the, the, uh, the materials that are needed to build the walls. And the king also grants him security. He sends soldiers to escort Nehemiah on his journey back to Jerusalem. How could all this happen? It's only because of the good hand of God upon his life. It's only because of the favor of God upon him. And the favor of God upon Nehemiah's life was directed towards him fulfilling God's assignment for his life. You see, here's a key we must remember. That when you and I begin to move out in the will of God, doing the things God wants us to do, in the direction of God's, uh, God for our lives, in His assignment for our lives, we will find time and again several instances of divine favor. But God, the good hand of God coming upon us, God giving us access, God giving us provision, God giving us influence, God giving us exaltation supernaturally because of His favor coming on us as we move aligned to His assignment. So, every time you move in the assignment God has for your life, when you do the things you know God wants you to be doing, expect favor. His favor on you is aligned to His assignment for your life. Let's pray. Father, we ask that in whatever we do, whatever we are doing, whatever our vocation may be in life, we are doing it knowing it's your will for our lives. And as we move out on those things, small or big, that you have determined for us, we pray and ask for unusual favor coming upon us, opening doors, causing things to take place, bringing provision unusually in our lives because of your favor. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.